In this chapter, we are going to learn how to add call to action button or CTA button to your Facebook page. But first, let's understand what is this CTA button. It's a logically designed button to get immediate response from the visitor of your page. Now, this response may be different for each type of business because every businesses are having different need. So let's go to our Facebook page and explore what are the possibilities. So right now we are here on our Rikers Fitness Facebook page and we'll go to the visitor mode to check what kind of CTA button we have already configured. Now you can see this send message. This we had done during our general settings. People can contact me privately in, on Messenger, right? So this way we are already having one CTA button, but every businesses may not be comfortable to receive messages on Messenger. Somebody may be having an objective where people should get connected to them over the call or uh, e-commerce businesses may want people to visit their website. If you are running some kind of webinar, you want people to visit your registration page. There can be a lot of options and Facebook understands this very well. That's why they have given a lot of options. So let's see what kind of options are available to us. So when we are on our brand page, we'll click this add a button. Now here we can see all these options are available. So let's explore this follow button. Now with single click, we are able to add this button. I will again go to our visitor mode and see this button is has changed to follow but still your messenger button is here so this way you can have two buttons follow and message follow is recently introduced in facebook mechanism where you know it is having more importance than the like that's why if some businesses want more followers then they can use this button but again all businesses may not be interested in follow button, right? So looking at this sales uh, funnel, what kind of options you should select? Right now I'm going to delete this button. We'll again click add a new button. Now let's say if you are selling some uh, gift cards, then you can click over here and give the link URL of your uh, gift cards and people can buy from there if you are restaurant then you can use this start order and for that you can add your link of a zomato or swiggy over here let's say somebody wants to have more call then let's configure this and see what happens so again okay, we will be selecting our country code over here that is india plus nine one and i would be giving some mobile number and I will save. So now what will happen? Again, we need to check this. So for that, you can come over here and click on this edit call now and you can test this button. The moment you click test, the number will be visible over here. And if we go into the visitor mode, then we will see how this is going to look. So now people would be able to click this and call and connect on this number as well as they would be able to send me the message. So messenger becomes a default button when you have already turned on it from the general settings. Now again, we'll go to our page and uh, we'll remove this call button, delete this button, confirm. So now let's see what other kind of buttons we can add. Let's say I want people to contact me over my website. So what I would be doing over here is I will insert the URL of contact us page and I will save. Now let's again test the button and my contact us page should load. Yes, the page is loading. So button is working. Now again, we'll remove this button. Click add a button. Now, if you would like somebody to interact on your WhatsApp, then come over here. 
and insert your whatsapp number over here and save it so people will see an option to send you a message over the whatsapp if you want people to contact you over the email then click this and we will insert our email address over here I click save again we can test the button it will open up my email client but uh, let's look at it over the visitor view in the visitor view you can see send email is appearing if i click this again i will get an option to choose the email client and send an email we come back to our front page we'll delete this button now let's see what other things we can do over here let's i want people to learn more and for that i want people to visit my website so here i will give home page link of my website if i click this and test button then my home page should load and yes that is happening so the button is working perfectly let's again delete this button click add button and we'll go to sign up if you are running some kind of uh, webinar then you can input your webinar registration page link over here then people will be able to register right from your facebook page if you are having some kind of app or game then you can click this and insert the link of that app or game and people will be able to use that let's say you want people to watch your videos maybe your corporate video or uh, your uh, advertisement something which can appeal to people so what we will be doing over here is i will put a video from my channel which is about whether hashtags can give you visibility or so i will insert my youtube video link over here and i will save it now if i go over here and click this test button youtube video should start aapne dekha hi hoga ki kafi sari instagram posts ke andar hashtags ka use hota hai ab so that means this uh, button is working now again we'll delete this button and we'll finally look for the top so here again e-commerce website will give some kind of link. trackers fitness we are selling health related products so i will input the link and we'll test so our product page should open so yes we are right here on the product page if we go into visitors mode for this particular button then you will see messenger is here and shop on website is visible right over here. so this way you can configure various kind of uh, call to action buttons depending on the scope of uh, your business nature of your industry you can define which button will work for you see we can change this button easily at any given point of time so you can experiment sometime you can use shop button sometime you can use learn more and see which one is working better for you and then stick to it so this is the way how you can configure various cta buttons on your facebook page so your task would be to implement this cta button on your facebook page see you in the next video